I really thought that I was going to be able to get this video out earlier in the month or earlier in the year, um, but it's already the middle of January 2017 and my period was pretty much a bitch um, this last go around, so I'm finally getting to do my video and put it out. So if you're curious to see what I wore this month, stay tuned. Hi everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great year uh, so far. And uh, like I said, my period was quite long or well, it was it was a bitch. Uh, it was quite long. And so here is my Clue app. Um, and I did try to use my Bella Beat app, but the Bella Beat app did not allow me to enter a period extending over 14 days. So I did have to go back to the Clue app. Um, I will go over that information in a Bella Beat um, video if you're curious about that, but that's going to come in later. Uh, so I will also flash my Clue app calendar at the end of this video to show you which cups I used for which days. Any websites, links, or discounts that I might have at this time will be in the description below. And if you find anything interesting or helpful in this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I did start spotting on December 17th and I came in here and I'm like, doo -doo -doo, which cup do I want to use? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And I ended up picking the Schoon Cup. Um, it is a cup that I don't normally wear and I haven't worn it for a while. So I did want to give it a try again to see if I liked it more or any worse than before. And it's comfortable for me. I, if you had seen my original video, I did have some troubles getting it inserted because it's that gummy soft type of cup. And I did have to learn how to get the softer cups to open. And after that, it was fine. I could insert it and uh, um, get it to open and uh, feel comfortable with it. Um, so I used this cup for a few days and uh, I, the one thing that I don't really care is uh, care for on this cup is that the um, the stem on this cup doesn't have a ball yet at the end and so when I pull it it just kind of slides through my fingers and uh, it kind of sucks when you pull on it and then it snaps back and it snaps to you and so I don't like that about this cup um, and this cup does ride up high on me. Most of the cups that are bell shaped that have a flared rim like this, they do ride up high on me. And so I do have to bear down a series of times, sometimes grab onto the stem and pull it down enough to be able to reach the base of the cup to get it out. Um, but other than that, and because I know that, I know how to work this cup with my body. On the third day of using this cup, I had a hard time getting it inserted uh, for some reason. I have no idea why, but that night I was in the shower. My husband was behind me waiting to get the, into the water and I was squatting down trying to get this cup in. And I folded it, my regular uh, for soft cups, I would fold it into a C fold and I could insert it only about halfway. So it was about only to my fingertips here and then it would just stop. I couldn't seem to get it to go in anymore and it wouldn't open or anything. I inserted my finger into that little hot, uh, like a hot dog and tried to push it against my vaginal wall and slide it in and it still wasn't going in. I don't know what was going on, um, but I was trying so much and I was getting frustrated, especially because my husband was here waiting for me. Um, I started to get swollen and I started to get a little bit sore. So I just stopped um, trying and I ended up grabbing a cloth liner uh, when I left the bathroom. So three days of using the Schoon Cup and I went to the cloth liner and for the next three days I didn't have any spotting or bleeding. Uh, so I thought maybe I got lucky for the beginning of the year and I was going to have a very short period and then three days later I started to bleed again. So uh, I did have to grab another cup. 
Since I was having problems getting the Schoon cup to be inserted and opened uh, for those first three days, I did want to grab another cup that was going to be a little bit more firm, that I knew that was going to pop open, that I was going to have troubles trying to get it to pop open. And so I grabbed my Lena cup. And I grabbed the small because um, for those other days I was pretty light. Um, and I knew that the Lena cup was going to hold enough. Usually when I have a regular period, uh, the Lena cup small isn't a very good capacity for me or it's not a big enough capacity for me. And uh, I, I knew that I was light right at that time. So I just went ahead and grabbed this. I figured, you know, if I got heavier and I needed a larger cup, I could go for another cup. So um, I used this. Also, it is one of my favorite cups uh, to use while we, my husband and I, have um, sexual intercourse. And uh, seeing my calendar, my Clue app calendar, you can see why we do opt for um, having menstrual cup sex. And I know some of you probably are wondering, why don't we just, you know, have bloody sex? And that is because we don't have a bathroom in our bedroom. Um, and we would have to leave our room to clean up. And I just don't want to have to deal with that. I don't want to have to deal with bloody towels and uh, blood splashes all over my thighs and on him. So uh, I don't even want to go into it because I know both of my parents watch my videos. Um, <laughs> anyhow, <laughs> that is why uh, I do like to use the Lena Cup Small quite a bit. Um, and that is also why we do end up having cup sex. I did end up using the Lena Cup Small Original uh, for seven days. It was just easy and it was already in me and I just didn't come in here to swap out to another cup. Um, and then I stopped bleeding on that seventh day or well the eighth day I didn't have any blood so I took my cup out that morning and I left it out and it was fine I didn't bleed and I thought I was done again and so Friday Saturday I didn't bleed and then Sunday I started bleeding again and it I, I was bleeding kind of a little bit heavier and I went for a cup that was a little bit higher capacity just in case um, plus it was Friday Saturday if my husband wanted to go out then I knew I was covered so on the way to the bathroom I did grab for um, the lolly cup medium and uh, I didn't think that my period was going to be too too heavy uh, so I knew that this one was going to uh, be a good enough capacity and I did wear this cup for uh, Sunday Monday and I did fill it up to just about the middle of this cup and uh, what is the middle a half a, a half an ounce 15 milliliters um, so I knew it was going to do good for me. It was comfortable. Uh, I did cut the stem off quite a while ago. I was sad too, but uh, I could feel it and it was just kind of irritating. So I went ahead and cut it off. But I, I really wish that I didn't cut the whole thing off. Maybe just half of it would have been sufficient. Um, but I can still reach it just fine and everything. And it's, it's a very comfortable cup. And I know I mentioned it several times already. So my uh, lolly cup medium was on a Sunday and Monday, and that was uh, New Year's Day. Uh, Sunday was New Year's Day, and uh, Monday I wore it. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, my period lightened up some, and I stuck with the lolly cup, but I went to the small size. Um, this one does have the complete stem on it still, and... Um, I, I did want to cut it off at one point, but I opted for just tucking it in. And uh, usually bell-shaped cups with a flare rim, I told you before, um, it starts to ride up. And the lolly cups, even though they're more bell-shaped, they don't seem to really ride up inside of me. Um, but I was worried just in case the small did ride up, I wanted to be able to reach it um, easily and so I did keep the full length of the stem on. After the two days with the lolly cup, I did stop bleeding and I thought I was done. No, I started spotting on Friday again, again. 
and my bleeding or my spotting went from a dark brown to a black to a bright red um, to a stringy bright red and back and forth and that went on for um, I think a total of nine days one of those days I didn't end up bleeding or spotting um, but then I started again and again um, so I just continued to wear my Yuki cup and uh, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It is a softer Yuki cup. If you don't know anything about the rainbow Yuki cups, it is uh, a 35 shore rating. So it's a little bit softer than their soft version Yuki cup. If you're interested in the Yuki rainbow, I am going to leave the link to my unboxing video. It kind of gives you a little bit of information about it. I didn't do a full on uh, walkthrough of it because it's the same uh, great quality Yuki cup. It just is a little bit softer and it has these pretty colors. And I really, really love this. I know that uh, a lot of people don't like colored cups, but colors, on my cup just make my period a little bit more happy. So those were the five cups that I used for my month-long uh, blood fest <laughs> of a period. Um, and before you start leaving me comments about going to the doctor, I have been to the doctors about my bleeding. Um, my whole family is really, was really irregular. I'm the last one that has all of my reproductive system left. Before I start rambling on and on, uh, let me know in the comments below if you picked up um, one of the Rainbow Yuki cups and how you're liking it so far. Um, or if you want to tell me about how your New Year's went. Mine was pretty low-key. We went to the casino and within 10 minutes we lost about $80. So we were done. We were home before midnight. Um, so that's about it. Uh, until I see you next time, take care.